when I signed the Bee Gees, it, it didn't take a genius to know that one had an incredible, new, exciting talent. So I came over to the United States to make a, a record deal for them. Up to that time, I'd never, never really studied the American market carefully, and I stayed in New York for about a month, meeting the presidents of all the different companies, talking to people who dealt with the various companies, and uh, I made a decision uh, to place the group with Atlantic. Going only by the title, you might think that a movie called Saturday Night Fever, starring John Travolta as the king of the disco dancers, would turn out like a shotgun marriage between an old Elvis Presley flick and Welcome Back, Cotter. But it doesn't. In fact, it's one of the best movies of the season, a real sleeper and a big surprise. I read the uh, original article, and at the time I was even interested in buying the uh, rights to it. I knew I could portray uh, the main character he, they were uh, talking about. I just knew that was a, a role that, if made into a film, I could, I could really do well. I'll tell you what I do. I work in a paint store, and uh, I got raised this week. Right, you work mm. in a paint store, right? Yeah. You probably live with your family, you hang out with your buddies, and on Saturday night you go and you blow it all off 2001, right? That's right. You're a cliche. You're nowhere. On your way to no place. We were mixing a live album in France. Robert Stigler called and said that he'd seen an article in the New York Times called Tribal Rights of a Saturday Night, written by Nick Cohen, and was turning into a film at that time with John Travolta. But they hadn't had the music at that point and wanted to know if we could take time out from mixing the live album and sit down and write some songs. And we said, well, we can't do that because we're writing our new album. We've written five songs already, but you can listen to those if you want. We'd written Staying Alive, Night Fever, How Deep Is Your Love, If I Can't Have You, and More Than A Woman. So we asked him, if you're going to fly in, have a listen and bring in the, some of the other people involved in the film and listen to it and see if these would work. So they came in and they liked the music and mm. took it back. He's about 19 or 20. He uh, works in a paint store all week. Once a week, goes to the discotheques, where he is uh, really the best local disco dancer there. He usually clears the floor in entertainment uh, for his friends and, uh, and anyone who happens to be at the club. week long he sort of lives it through the boring sort of uh, humdrum and then the once a week he's, he's very excited but he wants more than that. The disco to us was Casey and, and Donna Summer and, and Village People, that kind of thing was to us was, was party music, good fun. You know, so our stuff we never regarded as that until the film came out. 
what we were doing at the time, we were, dis were describing this progressive R&B blue-eyed mm. soul. What I wanted to do is actually get some some nuances and and um, character coloration for my character. In other words, making him more authentic, the most authentic he could possibly be. So therefore, talking to you know young men and women around the club, seeing what their viewpoints were. So I, I took all that into consideration and then developed the character. I had trained specifically for this film for five months. Denny Terrio, who is a, uh, was a member of the Lockers and the Dancing Machine, he helped me out a little bit. And then when I got to New York City, uh, Lester um, Wilson and Lorraine Field, who choreographed the film, continued to work with me. I worked for about three hours a day. He's really in transition in his life. He, it's, a, it's, it's really a movie about a chapter in this young man's life. And he's wondering what he wants to do with the rest of his life. The thing is, the high get of 2001 is just dancing. It's not, it's not being the best or nothing like that. The only thing is that I, I would like to get that high someplace else in my life, you know? Like where? I don't know where. I don't know. Someplace. The, you see, dancing, it can't last forever. It's, it's a short-lived kind of thing. But I'm getting older, you know? And, you know, I feel like, I feel like, you know, so what? I'm getting old. Does that mean like I can't feel that way about nothing left in my life? For me, it was the culture changing, not us or, or the music. Everyone had been so serious with the caftans and the beads and the peace. And then suddenly there was a, a void where nothing was going on. So four years later, this film comes out with people taking dancing lessons. There were uh, people that had never done that before in their lives. Um, elderly people taking dancing lessons. Uh, so it was a, it, for us, it was a culture thing. The culture had been through the peace movement, and it was time to have some fun. In the moment that you wonder far from me, I want to feel you in my arms again. And you come to me on a summer breeze, keep me warm in your love, then you softly leave. And it's me you need to share. When they all show